What's going on everybody? As you guys know, InDesign 2024 is out with Adobe Max and I combed through all of the features so that we can take a look at it together and I'll give you guys the rundown on some of the most interesting ones. So let's get started. The first of which is going to be a styler for all your text. So this is gonna make your workflow a lot faster when you're just trying to style some text. Let me show you what I mean. Here I just have a random story that ChatGPT has typed up for me. And I basically put it in as its default font as well as its default everything. And so here I can go to where style packs is. And if you guys don't have this, it's under window, it's under styles, and then you just have to switch on style pack here. Now, if I go ahead and select everything and I select one that I really like, so for example, this one, it's going to go ahead and just make sure that all of the titles are picked up, all of the subtitles are picked up. You might have to do a little bit of adjustment like dragging out the text boxes, but here you can see that it automatically styled my text. You can also create your own style pack down here and change all the different subcategories so that they fit what you basically need. So super cool when you want to do things really fast and change it into a style that you have prepared. The second one is for folks that have things that they want to publish online, maybe a magazine, a newsletter, or article. And so what you can do now is actually, if I go ahead and publish this online, if I go into file, and then publish online. You can see now there's actually a new analytics tab and this is basically for you to link your Google Analytics. So Adobe is kind of getting rid of their native one in place of the Google Analytics one, which in my opinion is a lot better. So it's good that they're doing something like this. Just to show you guys what this looks like online, they also added features for searching from the document as well as searching, as well as copy and pasting on your Windows or Mac computer, but you can only search on your tablet. Now, I feel like this is a option or a feature that is long overdue, but I'm glad that they added this in regardless. So for those that favor Google Analytics over what Adobe used to have, make sure you link that for your next online publish. Now, this next one is personally my favorite in the new features, and it is exporting with suffixes in your files. Just to give you guys what I mean, I'm going to go ahead and export this file that we just created, and I'm going to make this into a JPEG. Now this only works with JPEGs and PNGs, not really with PDFs, but if I go ahead and save this, you can see that there is a new option to add suffixes. So I can add things like the incremental number, the page number, and what I personally find the most valuable is the page size. So you can see that after it's been exported, all that info is actually now in the name, which I think is super useful. Okay guys, the next one is called hide spread and it's exactly what you think it is. So once you get to InDesign, I added a couple of more pages to just demonstrate my point with this one. If you guys wanna learn these layouts, make sure to check out our website or check out some of the other videos where I teach you how to do every single one of these elements. Now, if I wanted to do a presentation, I don't want the second page to show up. I can basically right click on these pages or spreads in the pages panel and I can click hide spread. Now if I use presentation mode, which is the shortcut key control W, you can see that it will go from the first page and it'll skip that page that I've hidden and it basically won't show that. So the second spread is basically not here. Similarly, if I want to export this file, I go to file, export, and let's export this as a PDF this time. You can see that if I open the file that was just exported, it's going to have the first spread or page. It's going to skip the second spread and it's just going to have the third spread for me, which comes in super handy if you wanna hide those draft pages or the pages that you don't want. Hey, are you still sealing the C's with your Adobe subscription? Well, maybe it's time to actually get it because of all the cool new AI tools that are out. You can save a lot of time by using Jetter Fill in your Photoshop assignments. And if you're watching this video, you'll probably need it anyways. So for the low price of two avocado toast, I have a link down in the description if you want to support the channel and get an Adobe subscription where you can explore all the different tools that will push your design into the next level. So check that out and support the channel. Now the last one they announced is something that's fairly important for people that use Indic uh, languages, Middle Eastern characters, as well as Southeast Asian characters. They basically started using HarpBuzz as the default shaping engine. This will basically show you guys a better rendering of the characters and a better shaping of the glyphs, especially for these different languages. And again, I'll have a list of all the different languages that they have listed here, but it should also give you guys a little bit more control 
as to how you can modify these characters. So hopefully this is useful for everybody that is watching from the Middle East, from India, as well as from Southeast Asia. But that is all everybody for the new releases of Adobe InDesign 2024. There are some really, really exciting things that happened. Let me know which one you guys are most excited for. And similarly, let me know which you guys did not see that you would love to see in the next expansion. Again, that's all I have for you guys today. And if you guys have learned anything new, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.